Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Wreath Network on tryhackme.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at task 31, Command and Control Conclusion. We have now covered the fundamentals of working with a Command and Control Framework. Empire is significantly more or extensive than the basics we have looked at in the time and space available here, so it's well worth doing some more research on it in your own time. Uh, specifically, I recommend the Empire Room for that. It is wonderful for going through a lot more. The overarching takeaways from the section are C2 frameworks are used to consolidate access to a compromised machine, as well as streamline post-exploitation attempts. There are many C2 frameworks available, so look into the which ones work best for your use case. They're not all going to be the same. Some of them won't have agents for things such as OSX and other things like that. Empire is a good choice as a relatively well-rounded open source C2 framework. Empire is still in active development with upgrades and new features being released frequently. Starkiller is a front or a GUI front end for Empire, which makes collaboration using the framework very easy. This has very much been a whistle stop tour of both Empire or both the Empire framework and the topic in general, but hopefully it has been useful nonetheless. Read the C2 conclusion. We can go and mark that as complete. And that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys next time when we cover task 32. But until then, happy hacking.